So, Bruce, let's let's go back to the obese eating a terrible diet. Yeah. Tell us a little bit more about that. Well, there are lots of papers showing that if you define worse as ratio of calories to essential micronutrients, the obese are eating the worst diet in the country because they're eating empty calories. They're not eating the greens and they're not e they don't eat much fish and all of that. And again, it tends to be the poor who don't know and they're just eating carbohydrate. And it may be comfort food, but it's aging them much faster. And every possible disease that's been looked at is higher in the obese. More cancer, more brain decay, more heart disease, you name it. And if it's been looked at, it's higher in the obese. Right. And I think a lot of that's due to the fact that they're starving for vitamins and minerals. That makes sense. And uh, so how, uh, and I think there's an easy solution to it. Uh, uh, we invented something called the Cori Bar about 10 years ago, Mark Shiganaga and I. Just, he was an expert in the gut and I wanted to get vitamins and minerals into the poor. So we came up with this bar. The local USDA was making a fruit bar, and we added vitamins to it, and uh, plant phenolics were in there, and a fiber, the three kinds of fiber you need to keep your gut healthy. And we've done 15 human clinical trials. Joyce McCann's running the project, so she should really talk about all of this. But she just sent off a fantastic paper which shows that this Cori bar, the, if you know what you're doing, the obese can lose weight. So I suspect it might affect satiety, that whether you're hungry or not, fiber is known to fill you up, and the obese are short of fiber. And I think it's going to make them feel good. So you're basically giving this the Cori bar, which has you know some vitamins, minerals, and essential fatty yeah. acids and fiber. Uh, yeah, the fiber. We were trying to mimic the Mediterranean diet for the things that, the aspects of it that people don't get. Right. Yeah. And and you're giving to it to them on top of their terrible diet. They're just. Oh yeah, we just tell they just eat what you're eating, but take two Cori bars a day on top. It's just a small bar, and it raises their HDL and lowers their LDL and improves their insulin resistance and improves their inflammation. It does all these wonderful biomarkers, the biomarkers we measure that are linked to heart disease or cancer or things, all in, uh, cancer we haven't really done yet, but right. all improve. So, really, so I think most of the world could do better with this right. thing. So really, that's, that's, it's a really interesting finding that you can give someone that's so metabolically unhealthy just a bar with a you know, good amount of micronutrients and fiber, and and they can still eat their terrible diet, and yet you can make improvements in you know these things that are known yeah. to cause cardiovascular disease, things that are known to known to lead to cancer, like yeah, inflammation. But their diet is so messed up because they're they're disabling a lot of the metabolism because they're not getting the essential vitamins and minerals. Right. So basically, you're providing them with precursors so that their metabolism can work and so that they can repair yeah. a lot of this damage that they've already done. Yeah, it takes time. It takes if we time. give it to lean people who are mostly eating pretty good diets, we can raise everybody's HDL or practically everybody's. So even people who think they're eating good diets are an optimum. Wow. And they're at least and you can deconstruct it, leave out one item and we know there are at least three different items in there that are important. And so uh Joyce McCann's running this project, and uh, it's, uh, I think this bar is like a super vitamin pill. So basically, if you're already, you know, metabolically healthy, yeah. you know, as measured by being yeah. lean, yeah. Um, then you can, you can do good things like raising your HDL even higher quicker yeah. than the obese can. But the obese eventually can raise their HDL if right. they take these yeah. vitamins and minerals, yeah. Yeah. suggesting that it, they have to first the vitamins and minerals are probably going to, you know, repair all this damage yeah. to, to those, you know, energy requirements that are repairing mm -hmm. the damage. And then, yeah. you know, then you can move on yeah. to the other good yeah. things. And if they're inflamed, see, when you're, uh, if you don't get your fiber and other important things for your gut, 
the gut, the more bacteria in your gut than cells in your body. And the gut barrier function is the cells have very tight junctions, so bacteria can't get into your bloodstream. Right. And if endotoxin, or it's also called lipopolysaccharide, which is the outside of bacteria, get into the body, it rings all the alarm bells in the body. Because I'm invaded, and that's they get inflamed, and that takes over because the body has to deal with an invasion first before right. it can do anything right. else. And so that, so we can get obese people who are not all inflamed to lose weight, but if they're inflamed, you blunt all that. But I think the core bar will lower inflammation eventually, and so it's just a matter of, uh, it doesn't help if people just drink uh, sugary soft drinks and eat uh, uh, white bread or uh, donuts. Uh, I mean, that's not a healthy diet. And, but we didn't tell them to change the diet. We just put the Cori bar on top. But eventually, they'll have to transition, and this may be a good way to do it, to a healthier diet. It, it may even be that once they start getting these vitamins and minerals and yeah. essential fatty acids yeah. and fiber, that their dietary patterns change just because they feel better, just because they're realizing, you know, they yeah. like to feel good. And it, it may even be as simple as their brain or, you know, brain functions a little different. I mean, you mentioned endotoxin. I found th this study that was very interesting where they injected people with endotoxin, oh. caused, it infl caused inflammation, and it caused depressive symptoms. Yeah, no. And so, you know, you're talking about affecting brain function, cravings, things like that. It may actually be that they'll, their dietary habits will change as a function of getting the right micronutrients so that the well, brain is, be. right. I was in Denmark for a meeting in early spring, I think it was, and Denmark's always raining or cloudy. It's just terrible weather, and or by California standards. And there were three beautiful days where there wasn't a cloud in the sky. It was just like California. And uh, every day and had taken off most of their clothes and they were lying in the sun, just everywhere. You saw all these half-naked bodies. And I, I queried a few Danes, how come? They said, well, we feel good when there's sun and we sunbathe. It's built into us because we get so little sun and they're getting the vitamin D. Serotonin. Serotonin our, makes you feel favorite. good. That's right. So yeah, that's, yeah. it makes perfect sense that people would be out there laying in the yeah. sun. Um, yeah. But the Cori bar is, is very interesting. And yeah, you know, no, is it something that is going to be oh, for available to the public? Yeah, Joyce McCann just got a beautiful paper out, uh, a second paper on the Cori bar, which shows all these things. And, you know, statins is a $35 billion industry, but there's side effects. Yes. Most drugs are blunderbusses, and there are some side effects. And nutrition is what's getting at the essence, and I don't think you expect a lot of side effects. So uh, I think that's the way to go. So maybe the Cori bar can replace statins. Well, <laughs> we'll see.